welcome back to Testa's Tuesday Tips. Actually, Testa's Long Lost Tuesday Tips. And Sycamore got accepted to a college soccer team. And left us for a life of glory on the soccer field. Today, I am altering a red stag mannequin. And I decided to do a little tip on it. Because, um, explain what I'm doing now. Everybody wants to go to New Zealand and shoot one of these. You know, your standard industrial size, 5 million point stags. But every once in a while, someone will go to New Zealand and shoot your like entry level stag. Okay. So, what we got going on is um, I got a stag with a really short nose to eye, small little neck. Um, I did a whole bunch of stags this year, and my average nose to eye was like 10 and 3 eighths to 10 and 3 quarters. This one was 9 and 3 eighths by 22. So I had this elf armature laying around um, that never got made into a mannequin. And I decided just to go ahead, since the neck was right, to alter this. So I shortened the face, as you can see, by 5 cuts to nine and three eighths but you can't just do that as you know so I lowered the head twice to get this measurement right and then I also narrowed the width and, and it didn't have a head block in it so it was no problem since it was an armature so now I got all that done and then I realized there's one more thing I needed to do I guess you don't have to do it but it really helps so now that my head length is down to, uh, um, I forget, whatever it is. As we know, the rule of thumb is that the length of the head is always usually within a half inch of the length of the neck. So what I'm going to have to do on this is I'm going to take it uh, a chunk out of the neck, too. So if I did my cipher right, I started with 11, and I subtracted 9 and 3 eighths. That should be one and five eighths. So I'm going to shorten this neck, neck an inch and five eighths so I don't get a long looking stag. And then, oh, also one thing I did was it was straight, so we wanted the left turn. So I turned it here at my usual spot. And then when I cut, um, when I shorten my neck, I'm going to turn it the rest of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I'll go uh, inch and five eighths. Make sure the inch right. There one five eighths. Oh, by the way, I didn't mean to scare people with my. Uh, Tuesday tip about not cutting yourself, but I just thought it was kind of funny in keeping with when I always say don't do that, but when you do this is how you fix it. So I figured since I stabbed myself that good, I should show you how to fix that because normally I just tape myself up and keep going, you know, but this one was a little bit too bad. Anyway, like I said, you don't, you know, I could probably fudge this and mount it, but shoot, I've gone this far, why not just do it right, you know? So we don't want a giraffe stag. I mean, it already looks funny because it's got such a little small neck on it. You ever notice how amazed I am when my own stuff works? Like, so then, like I said, I'm going to turn it a little bit more. I don't know how much, but I'll just stick it here for right now. And I'll do something just to show you what I was talking about. 
All right, so um, of course I'll bondo this back on, but we can just for fun, just to show you what I meant, we'll just caliper this and caliper this. And bam, see, our neck blank is, uh, you know, right in there. So I think that that was necessary to do, you know. I think I'll have Sycamore put up some pictures of this when I get it done, just to show it done. And of course with the, this was one of the prototypes with the trick head blocks on the new LEGs, but with this setup, we got plenty of clearance, man, so there's no worries there. Okay, yeah. Anyhow, so we can do an upright on this baby, no problem. Well, anyway, hope that's a useful tip because that is a rule of thumb, head length, neck length. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Testa's Tuesday Tips.